G'day mate, Simon, VA7BIX. All right, how many of you have got these old extension cords lying around that are gathering dust that are useless? Well, we're gonna do some safety precautions on this, smash it all up, and we're gonna make the ultimate 10 meter vertical antenna. So guys, some of you might have seen my previous video and it occurred to me, hmm, you must destroy the mains power plugs and dispose of them properly. So we're gonna do this right now. And in fact, so here's what I've got for toys. I've got a hacksaw, I've got an ax that I'm gonna smash these up and I've got some, some side cutters. The main issue for these is if these were ever left around, lying around as an antenna, and a little kid went and plugged that into the, into the mains, uh, there's an electrocution waiting to happen. So we're gonna completely and utterly destroy these and we're gonna make the ultimate 10 meter vertical antenna with the feed points that hopefully Amazon are gonna be dropping off shortly. So here we go. So what I'm gonna do is start smashing this up and I'm gonna cut this with a hacksaw because what we wanna do is preserve this little collar just so when we splay out the wires, it gives it stability and it just stops the weight ultimately pulling on the feed point. Yeah, smash that up, baby. Woo! There we go, look at that. There's my feed point. There's my feed point there. And this is all gonna go into the rubbish. So let's go and dispose of all of this properly. Oh, could it be the parcel? Oh, there it is. Woohoo! There's the parcel. All right, let's go and build this antenna. Let's do this. How exciting, guys. Woohoo! All right, I'll see you upstairs from the shack and the workbench. Let's get this underway. All right, guys, well, here we are up at the, the shack. And I'm going to keep you in suspense for the moment. And what we need for these, which I learned from the last time, is we need chicken scissors. So get yourself some chicken scissors. It really helps to, uh, to shred the outer shield of the wire. Let's fast forward this and I'm going to take this cover off. So look at this, we're getting close. What I wanna do is just leave a little bit on at at the end there and see the beauty is with this, I can sort of pull these through just a little to give me a bit to work with, but I want to keep that. Gives it a bit of a collar. You're going to need to do no soldering, no soldering. Can you believe that? So this is like a solderless uh, project with the ultimate feed point. All right. And I'm going to put a link below guys for the feed point And I think you're going to love it. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh yes, here they are guys. So these are terminal blocks. And guess what's cool about these terminal blocks? And uh, here's the link guys. So these terminal blocks have a male and a female, which means that you can have your PL259 with a short lead going to one of these and you can do a quick disconnect and then you can be quickly changing over dipoles with these other ones. So let's uh, get this set up and this is amazing. See, there we go, guys. So this just quickly, that just goes in there like that. Bang. There you go. So all we have to do is put 
uh, the wires in one and the coax in the other. How cool is that? So I'm just going to do this very crudely right now, just to get going and get on the air and just uh, see how we can, how this, how easy this is. So that goes into there and then this will go into there. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. Give that a good honk. All right, there we go. There's your feed point. And eventually I'll make that nice and straight and I might put a bit of tape around it. But there you go. Look at that, guys. So there's that. And then this side, we're going to, we're going to join the blue and green together. So what we're going to do, I'm actually going to make the performer, which is two elevated radials. And if I ever want to change this out to make it one elevated radial, all I've got to do is uh, just undo this screw at the top and just pull one out. Touch that onto there. Yep. And then the brown. So if I do the brown one, nothing on that. There we are. Okay, we're good. So now I'm going to hook up the feed point. I love it. Look at this feed point. Ain't that cool? Bang, you're done. So there you go, guys. A feed point is a terminal block. And when I want to change antennas, I just go like that and put that into the next one. Regular coax with the barrel into the crazy, crazy cool little feed point. Look at that. Ain't that cool? All right, let's get this up the tower and get it on the air. It's funny, you forget how short the radials are for 10 meters. It's such a fun little antenna. Right, so here we are, going up the, the pole, into the feed point. There's one radial off to there, another one here, into this magical little terminal block. Short little uh, coax with the barrel, and then we're going to take it to the car and we're going to get on the air and see if we can make some contacts. All right, guys, so we're going to put this antenna to the test. Yeah, V8-7, v Bravo India X ray. Thank you very much, uh, old man. You're about a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five here in the kilo 2996, 2996 in Texas. Kilo Echo Zero, Julia Bravo. Kilo Echo, Echo Zero. I like that a lot. Extension cord works. I'm going to spot you on the photo page and get things started. Hi, November 4th. It was Delta X ray. Hi, Kilo Bob. Uh, you come up that time. You're about a 5 7 here also. November 8th, Yankee Tango X-Ray. I uh, just heard you talking about your extension cord. Uh, I'm in Trinidad, Texas, which is one hour south of Dallas, and uh, you're a solid 5.7, five, 5.7 seven, five, seven coming off your extension cord, sir. That's uh, that's some real, uh, that's some real homemade engineering there. <laughs> I guarantee you. Uh, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing that. I've been, uh, I'm pretty interested. I'm real new to the hobby uh, since December. And this antenna thing has got me intrigued, uh, just using pieces of wire. Or yep. Guy, here's some photos where he took some uh, metal out of a tape measure and made a little small beam with it. So it's really got my interest for sure. Thank you, IZ. USL November 9 or Uniform Kilowatt X-ray. Woo! 5 and 9 into Chicago. 59 in Chicago, Simon. Woohoo, yourself there. And looking forward to seeing the video. Thanks a lot for the activation. Great signal. I heard your explanation on the antenna. I love it. We were uh, on the Alpha Box Rock Rock. You're 5 and 7. I can't believe it. There's a pile up on 10 meters for you. That's great here in uh, Wisconsin. Yeah, this is the conditions we've been uh, hoping about for like the last couple of years, and I, I think they're here. I don't know. I probably just jinxed it. Now it's all my fault if they go away. <laughs> Kilo November 4, Sierra Windy, Sierra. Roger, Roger, Simon. You are 5'9, 59, Naples, Florida. Roger, Roger. Yeah, that extension cord antenna is doing a great job for you. 
Well, guys, what can we say? Holy smokes, a 10 meter pile up. This antenna is the greatest. All of the information that you need is below. And uh, just make sure you cut off those uh, plugs, dispose of them properly, have fun with your sledgehammer, smash the, the uh, living crap out of them, put them in the rubbish bin, then use that beautiful wire. It's so soft and malleable. It's wonderful to work with. And then the feed point. Now, my gosh, look at these feed points. Is that not the greatest thing ever? Look at this. There you go, guys. So there's your feed point. So that goes to the coax. And then there's your, uh, there are your three wires. And the description below is uh, for all of the stuff that you want to find on Amazon. I use the, I use the terminal block with four, uh, with four inlets. You could even, there's one with two. There's one with three and there's one with four. I just wanted a bit of beef. I wanted a bit of size that if I ever wanted to add a radial, I could. And quite easily, I could separate another radial. I might even be able to do, uh, I might even be able to do like a phased array with it where you actually have two driven elements a certain distance apart. So I just wanted options. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. You're awesome. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and let's have a lot of fun on 10 meters. It is rocking. So get out to your parks and uh, call CQ Poda or in your shack, just call CQ and have some fun. All right, guys, have a wonderful afternoon. 7-3 from Simon. Bye-bye.